Most people call it Pigeon Lake. I just call it the lake. I look at old photos. My grandfather sitting proudly on the step of the cabin he built for his family. My father as a youngster, a young man, and eventually a young father with a cabin of his own. I see my parents and siblings sitting by the new fireplace. Was that really over 50 years ago? And have things changed that much? I grew up at the lake, swimming, exploring, building huts, and watching the sky. Family and friends surrounded me, people who are still central in my life. My brother and I spent endless hours with the guys from down the beach. One of them eventually became my husband. When I was a young mother, we built our own cottage at the lake. I watched as my children formed their own memories. Days filled with laughter and adventure, many the same my husband and I still share. Experiments tried with success and failure. What goes up must come down. My family is now in its fifth generation at the lake. I wonder. I worry. Will the water be so full of blue-green algae that they can't swim? Will they be able to find wildflowers, smell a skunk, or see porcupines and flying squirrels? Will the northern lights and meteorite showers be lost in the light pollution? The lake is part of my family. When it hurts, I hurt too. Where are you going?